This video is to show faculty how to find and initially set up their in-person course planning tool. So from my purdue.purdue.edu faculty tab, you'll navigate to the toolbox. You should see a link called the in-person course planning tool. When you click on it, it should open a new tab for you. It should default to the West Lafayette campus and it should default to the most current term. You do have the ability to change those filters. Then from the course field, you'll start typing in your course information. You'll see that you are required to respond for every unique CRN that you are instructor of record for. So while I teach CM250, I have to make sure there is a plan reported for both the lecture and all of the lab components. So I'm going to start with my lecture, select view. You'll see it returns some course information about the subject, the course, the CRN, the section limit, currently enrolled students, the faculty, the room assigned, days, dates, time, and then the room capacity. And then I will come down here to indicate, yes, I am going to use the in-person course planning tool. Hit save. And now I'm ready to start creating my groups. So I have a, a limit of 68. I'm going to say I want four groups because I have two meeting days. And I'm going to split my Tuesday, Thursdays in half so that I can get four groups. And I'm going to let it determine, since my capacity is 36 for the room, that will be my limit for my groups. Let's create groups, select OK. All right, so now my four distinct groups have been created. Now I need to create my meeting times. So I need to create a meeting time for each group. Group one, they will meet weekly on Tuesdays. They're going to meet the first half. Now this is military time, so they're going to meet from 2.30 to 3.30. Continue. Group two. Group three to 5.20. All right, so I have my groups created. I have my meetings created. And now I'm either going to manage the memberships manually I don't have time for that, so I'm going to tell the system to auto-assign my students. And you'll see I'm going from 57 students unassigned to zero unassigned. And you'll note that the system balances my groups to be as equal as possible. And then if I wish to export that as a file, I can do that individually. Now this is not yet done. I still need to share it with my students. So. It's final, ready to share. I hit yes and save. And now the system will let the students know which day and time I expect them to come to class.